Hi everyone, my name is Alexis Roberson. I work as a developer advocate here at Elastic and today we'll be covering the match query. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. The index that we'll be using is the recipes index. For the match query, a question that you could ask is, how can I create a query that finds fields whose values match the query string? And your query string can be anything. It can be text, it can be dates, it can be Boolean values, or it can also be numbers, right? And so let's first take a look at our data set and see what results we get back. We have 5,000 results or 5,000 documents within our recipes index. And then this is the structure of our data. So we have, in steps, our number of steps, number of ingredients. We have the total minutes, description. Then we have the steps as far as like what all you need to do to create this recipe. Let's see, you have tags, nutrition, uh, so the date submitted, that could be useful. Timestamp name, and then uh, as well as like ingredients and other things or other items. So now that we have an idea of the type of the type of information within our data set, let's take a look at a basic example. Uh, let's say, let's see here. So we know that we can run, and I'll just write this, uh, type this down for our reference. So text number, date, Boolean value. Those are the types of things that we can query for within this index. Let's say we wanted to search within the description field, okay? So we wanna search within the description field. Let's say we wanted to find something since Christmas is around the corner, let's say, Christmas recipes, our Christmas recipe, okay? So let's see if anything like that comes up. All right, so let's write our match query. So we're running on the recipes index. Okay, we know we're running a match query. So one way we can write this query is we can have the field that we're searching on, so that's the, the description field. And then we can create, we can uh, write these brackets here, and then we can utilize the query parameter that's associated with match. And then we can put in what we're looking for. So we're looking for Christmas recipes. So that's one way we can write it. A shortcut to this is just getting rid of this parameter altogether, just setting Christmas recipes or our search terms directly to our field. So let's do that. All right, now that we have our query, let's go ahead and run it. Description here, so it says holiday, it says Christmas Eve, it says recipe, so it has something to do with the holidays, the Christmas recipes, but the two words, Christmas and recipes, are not next to each other, so that means that the proximity and the order of the terms are not being preserved using just a basic match query, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Now let's go a little bit deeper into what the match query is, and we'll switch over to our whiteboard. All right, so now let's define it. What is our definition for the match query? All right, so the match query returns documents that contain a provided text, date, number, or Boolean value. And then one thing I wanna highlight, and we sort of saw this happening with our first example in Elastic Cloud in that we were searching for Christmas recipes, but the results that were returned back had a few words in between Christmas and recipes, or maybe recipes came before Christmas. It wasn't necessarily in order, or the proximity was not right next to each other, okay? And so the reason why this happens is because the match query follows or logic by default. So we can visually see that, okay, taking that example that we had where we were looking for Christmas recipes. Instead of these being found together, it becomes Christmas or recipes. We can obviously change this through the use of parameters. So the benefits of parameters is that they allow you to refine your search. All right, so they allow you to refine your search. Now let's take a look at a few parameters that we could use that would better refine our search. And even when we talk about the use of or logic by default, how can we change that? All right, so here we are. This is the official Elastic documentation. I find it very helpful whenever you need to get up and running with you know what whatever your use case may be. Now we have analyzer, auto generate synonyms phrase query. Now in regards to changing or logic, uh, one parameter in particular I want to highlight is our 
want to use is the operator parameter. And so the operator parameter uses Boolean logic to be able to interpret your the text within your query value, right? And what this means is that if we leave it alone and it just uses the or logic, again, it would say Christmas or recipes. But if we changed it to and, we want Christmas and recipes to be within the documents that are returned back so that it makes it where it is, where it has to be the case, okay? So let's take a look at how this operator parameter will be implemented. So in this case, we're using the operator parameter. We want the or logic to change from or to and. Okay, now how would we implement this within our query? So if we were to take the example before, we were looking within the description field and we were looking for Christmas recipes, okay? Now this is how we would have written it using the shortcut. So we wanna add the parameter, so we're gonna go back to that structure that we had before, or we're gonna go back to using the curly braces here, okay? And so here, and then we're gonna use the query parameter again, and the query would be Christmas recipes, Perfect. And then we're going to implement the operator parameter. Actually, I want to use a different color just to kind of put further emphasis on this. Okay, so we'll use red. Instead of using or, we're going to use and, and that's just saying, hey, we're going to use and logic here. All right, and here we have it. So we're using the and operator, and what this does is it says, make sure that the documents that are returned back contain Christmas and recipes. And you may think, okay, that means that, you know, we're gonna find Christmas recipes, they're gonna be right next to each other, it's gonna be great, and that's gonna be contained within the field, within the field that we're looking for. With, within the match query, although we're using this and operator, it does not guarantee that proximity as well as order will be preserved. And in this case, this means that we would have to use something else. We have reached the level of refining this search for this scenario, and so we would have to use a separate query wink wink the match phrase query we won't be covering it in this video but stay tuned for the next video and we will be able to go into further detail of how this solves this problem all right so we took a look at the operator parameter let's take a look here uh, let's say we wanted to use the analyzer parameter okay and the benefits of the analyzer parameter is that whenever you're running whenever you're running a search your query stream that you provide within your search is going to be analyzed and what that means is that it's going to be processed so that you can find what you're looking for within your document all right so we're going to look at the analyzer parameter let's say if we were searching on the ingredients field we were looking for ground black pepper. Okay, so we're looking for ground black pepper. Well, this is going to be processed based on what type of analyzer that you're using. Okay, so you could be using the standard analyzer. Okay, or you can be using a custom analyzer. So this is an analyzer that you create and that you implement so that not only your fields, right, so the fields within your documents are processed in that way, but as well as the search terms within your search query will be processed using that same analyzer. And so you'll be able to dictate how that happens, okay? So let's say that the standard analyzer automatically lowercases all of your search terms. Let's say I didn't want that to happen, okay? So let's say I created a custom analyzer. Let's go back here. So let's say I created a custom analyzer. So custom analyzer that does not lowercase, okay? So just hypothetically, right? All right, so let's say we called it no lower. And, and so how would we implement this within a query? Okay, so, so there's a way to define this analyzer within the mapping. I'm not gonna get into that. Check out the beginner's crash course. But how can we implement this within our query itself? All right, so query ground black pepper, and we want to use a custom analyzer. Okay, so we're gonna use the analyzer parameter. Our custom analyzer was no lower. 
And there we have it. So we talked about we talked about the analyzer parameter, and let's talk about the relationship that that has with the or that would have with the zero terms query parameter. So if you run a search query, let's say you include specific search terms, but the analyzer, because of the way that it's set up, ends up removing all of your search terms. You can catch that using the zero terms query parameter. You can set it to none, and what this does is that hey, if this happens where all of our search terms are removed by the analyzer, then don't return any documents at all. Then you can also use the all value and this operates just like a match all query if you're familiar with it it just returns all of your documents that are within your index so we have fuzziness here and what fuzziness does is it calculates the edit distance based on the length of the term okay and so there's different rules regarding that if you wanted to go more into detail and so it has different rules right and so it's saying hey if the length of the term is between zero and two and then it must match exactly if it's between three and five it should be one edit allowed and then and if it's greater than five, the length of the term is greater than five, then two edits are allowed. Let's say someone was trying to write the word wind, but instead of wind, they write W-N-I-D, okay? Because the length of this is four, that means that it will only be allowed for one edit, okay? So it should be, according to the standard, it should be one edit away, okay? So you can allow for swaps so that it can represent the original term that the user was going for. And this is obviously very helpful for any search engine. Whenever you're typing something in whatever search bar you're using and you misspell a word, you still want to be able to get results back even with that misspelled word. And so fuzziness is really helpful because it allows you to do that. And when it comes to fuzziness, the most common value that you can set the parameter to is auto. And what auto does, it allows for you to calculate the edit distance based on the length of the term and then make those swaps that are appropriate to that term. So from W-N-I-D to W-I-N-D, wind. And the way that we would implement this is very similar to our other parameters. There's no, there's no sort of like surprises here. So within our tags field, we were looking for egg free. Okay, so we're looking for egg free, but let's say we misspelled it. So let's say we, I don't know, added an additional G there. And then instead of F-R-E-E, -E, we did F-R-E-I as egg free. Okay, so would we still be able to get back results? All right, and here we have it. And so we have our misspelled words, our misspelled terms that we're searching for within the tax field. And then we are using our fuzziness parameter to be able to rectify this issue. Okay, so now let's run these examples within Elastic Cloud. I definitely want to run the example that we have for the end operator, as well as the one that we have here for fuzziness. I'm going to skip going over the example for the analyzer because we would have to implement the custom analyzer within our mapping. So I'm gonna skip that for now. I can't say this enough, check out the beginner's craft course to elastic it does all of those great things this is just going to be a video specifically on the match query itself all right so we are back in our elastic cloud and we have our example the first one we have christmas recipes and just to kind of let's take a look here at what we had before so with christmas recipes without the end operator we got back 357 results so let's look for an example where it didn't sort of contain christmas and recipes and so here uh, within the description we have christmas we don't see the word recipes or we don't see the search term recipes okay so let's see if we can run the example with the end operator to change that outcome we get back five results, but let's make sure that these five results actually contain both Christmas and recipes. So yep, that first result is there. Let's see, we have recipes, we have Christmas. Okay, awesome. And then one more example, so Christmas. And then do we have, okay, and we have recipe. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's where we worked. And then let's double check here. Okay, so we have egg free and we're looking within the tags field. So let's look real quick. Let's do it without fuzziness, okay, just to see. We may or may not get back results, but let's do it without fuzziness. You know, we've misspelled these words, and so, you know, we're not getting back any results because it's saying, hey, I've searched within the tax field of these documents, and none of them contain egg, E with three Gs, or free with an I instead of two Es. All right, so now let's add in fuzziness again. Okay, and then let's see if this does the job. Okay, so see, I'm getting back. Okay, so query tags match. Oh, I see. So fuzziness was misspelled. Got you. All right. 
but the fuzziness worked and let's look and see within our tax field egg free all right so we see egg free there perfect so even though we had those misspelled words we, we were still able to get results back containing egg free so that's a glimpse into the superpower of fuzziness as well as being able to use fuzziness within the match query all right so that was the match query thank you so much for tuning into this video again my name is alexis roberson developer advocate at elastic and feel free to comment down below if this was helpful let me know what you would like to see in future videos and without anything else have a good day